This is the world's first self-balancing robot on two wheels. As you saw, it can jump. You can drive it with the remote. It can track you. It can follow you. It's basically a platform that you can expand with modules. Endless possibilities with this thing. It can potentially track you, follow you, carry your stuff. It can even carry you. And as I said, it has endless expandable capabilities thanks to the SDK. Literally endless possibilities. So let's have fun. Got a new drip from a direct drive. This is the Diablo robot. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will listen, link the best deals for you. And now let's check it out. So that's the box. It is quite heavy, but I was able to manage. So it's the version 1.1. So let's go. Ooh, now that's what I call serious packaging. Spring loaded handle on top. Yo. This is next level. The case actually has rolls. That is awesome. So that was at least part one of the unboxing. Nice. Okay, paperwork. Then we have this on top. Nice box for the accessories, I guess. Protection. And here we have it. Handles right here. Oh yeah, it's not too bad. And that's everything that was inside of the box. Love the box. Yeah, and that's it. But let's of course start with the accessories and the manual. So let's start here. This is literally a poster. You can hang it up on your wall. Nice drawing of the robot. Here we have the paperwork, inspection cert, then here we have the packing list and the toolkit, emergency stop procedure and also this radio link add-on, warranty and the user manual. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and that's it. So we also get this amazing looking case right here, handle on top, you can even lock it. And in here we have, first of all, the cable for the power outlet. We have a charging brick, status LED, and all the specs on the back. Then we will also get a, oh my goodness, how amazing is that? We will get this multi-tool that is also a fidget spinner. That is the best, oh my goodness. <laughs> amazing. In here are also the keys for the case, more tools and spare parts, hex keys, spare screws, washers, good stuff. Underneath here we also get the charging cable for the remote and then also this, nice. <laughs> and lastly, wait, there is also this, this plate, looking pretty dope. So and here of course we have the remote. That's the remote. Yeah, and that's actually it. Done with the unboxing. Let's get to my first impressions and then to a close overview. So, there we go. I just charged it up all the way. Also the remote, of course. So this is it from the front, from the side. Super solid build. I mean, look at all this carbon. All of that is carbon. Amazing. So no wonder that this thing is super stable. The wheels here, the back with the cables, the emergency shut off button right on looking amazing. And from the top. So yeah, let's take a close look. We have this on the front, direct drive, logo, Diablo, top plate underneath the battery, the blue package is of course the battery down here. The wheels for the, oh, we can actually just do this. The wheels for the crawl mode. I just don't know how it can turn in the crawl mode, but we will see. Battery down here. Here we can see how the feet or the wheels connect to the rest of the body. Okay, so the wheels, they can articulate in this position too. Then we have the power connections for the motors. Again, we have the on off button actually, just turned on for a second right there carbon guards and down here is also the charge port so yeah let's turn it on so this will flash this is the battery indicator light by the way and this thing in the front is just a cover by the way 
Here you can mount a, a gripper or something like that. It's on. And it doesn't want to move. Oh! Okay, okay, chill, 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 chill. This is actually great for demonstrating the strength. It can take a payload of up to 80 kilograms in the crawling mode. And you somehow need to put it on the outer frame, of course, not on this plate, but right here. So easy, it's so strong. I weigh like 65 kilograms, no problem whatsoever. Yeah, now let's bring the remote into the mix. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it actually can turn. Oh, it's fast. It can turn in the crawling mode. So with this, you can turn it and drive it. Okay, that is way better actually. <laughs> yeah, with a, with a lot of weight on it, it can't turn any longer. Ah, maybe it can turn while rolling. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, it's super sturdy. Oh, it's so fast. So next up, it's time for, for it to stand up. Oh. Boom. With this button, you can make it stand up. And then... Oh yeah, it's not sure if it's faster now. We'll find out in a second. But now, it's in the self-balancing mode. It can turn. Oh my goodness, this is so amazing. And it can also jump. Oh! <laughs> With this button. That is so cool. Oh, and you can make it crouch when you press and hold it. That is so cool. How cool is that? Oh, so with this joystick you can make it go forward, backwards and turn. And with this, with the other one, you can make it look upwards and downwards. And also... Oh my goodness. It can also jump in the leaning mode, that's crazy. Ah, with this wheel you can make it go up and down. And we also have tons of buttons. Oh, I think it, it also has different speed modes. But let's turn it off. Okay, let's go into the crawling mode. Let's turn off the robot as well. And the way I want to use this little guy, well, he's actually a big guy. I basically want to make him my camera man. It's like a hoverboard. It's super smooth and stable. You know, I used to film quite a lot on a hoverboard with my camera. And this thing with a camera and a tracking module could be an automatic camera dolly slider that will follow you, which is just mind blowing when you think about it. So for this test, I will just mount this gimbal on it with cable ties. And this is a quick release right here. So I can easily mount and dismount the gimbal. So let's grab my iPhone and mount it and then we're ready for, a, for an outdoor test. So the robot can track you and follow you as well as the gimbal. How cool is that? That is the best. Okay, let's take it outside and let's test it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Oh my god! A little bit of off-roading is no problem. Okay, let's try the speed mode. And now let's switch... Oh, that's the... wait. This one? Oh, that is already the fastest mode. Okay, so I see, I see. Let's also activate this camera. That's the setup. <laughs> now I obviously need to watch out what I do. And I also, I must not jump. But yeah, let's keep going. And check this out. It can handle this stuff so well. B 
beast. This looks like a challenge. Wow. Check this out, it can handle all of that off-roading stuff so easily. It's amazing. I don't want to overdo it. Amazing. Okay, and now my intended purpose was of course actually to film myself. So let's see. Let's mount the camera. Okay, there we go. Let's track me. Wow, that is awesome. So obviously it would be even cooler if the robot would track me automatically. Now I have to use the remote, of course. But just like that, it's already <laughs> pretty dope. Imagine, wait. This is the best camera slider ever. I mean, look at that. <laughs> this is amazing. cool is that actually let's let's track this stone right here so right here we have this nice looking stone so and now let's check this the freaking window this is looking so cool Isn't that awesome? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Best camera slider ever. Ah, oh, too fast. Ah, oh, why is it so windy? <laughs> stuff wait what happened to the jump button ah it can only jump in the middle position I see okay you can drive oh it can so it can actually jump while driving The thing can actually fall down. Okay, can you fall down, please? I need to kind of force it, but how? I want to show you the recovery, so... <laughs> so, now check this out. Okay. Ah, it's just messing up my stuff. Ah, there we go. So, now it fell over. And now check this out, it will recover. Nice. So as you saw, this thing in the base form already has tons of capabilities. This is an excellent build platform. And as I said, you can expand on this a lot. And the only limiting factor is your imagination. Now we can't go into too much detail because this would completely explode the scope of this video, but you can, for example, mount a camera, implement object recognition, then it can track and follow you. Or you can also, for example, mount a robot arm for picking up objects, to name just two ideas. You will also get an absolutely amazing transportation box, incredible build quality, same as the robot, absolutely mind blowing how cheap this is for what you will get and also for what it can do just in the base form. And it's probably just a matter of time until robots like these will be 
everywhere. And Direct Drive is one of the first companies that actually make it affordable. Yeah, and all in all, the Diablo robot is definitely trippy. Check out the product links in the description if you're interested. I will list and link the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.